Hey everybody. That refines here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And if you watched our video last week, we were in some pretty deep auction shenanigans. <laughs> I can't do an auction without being, you know, a shenanigan. We may have bid a little too much here and there. We get carried away. <laughs> if you haven't seen last week's video, you need to go back and watch that because we had a lot of fun bidding on the computer right before an ice storm. It was chaotic. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. <laughs> so we're coming to you from our storeroom. I'm gonna show you just a sneak peek of the storeroom here in just a second. And we're gonna show you the items that we got at the auction. So several weeks ago, I posted on Instagram that I was moving my spare bedroom into my storeroom and vice versa. So we were swapping bedrooms. It was quite the undertaking. But I'm really glad that we did. So now here in the storage room, I've got this table set up right in the middle of the room with my photography lights. Then on the back wall here, we've got shelves set up with all of our inventory. So yeah, we're really stoked that we Can were I able- I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Hi, Bood. Oh my gosh, I'm really glad that it's over as well. All right, so let's get into the haul. Now we do have to give one little disclaimer. Uh, we have sold a couple of things actually. So we gave a couple little sneak peeks or previews several weeks ago and uh, showed off some of the things that we bought at this auction. And some of those things have sold already. So we're showing you what's left. And when I say that some of these items have sold, it was really only like two items plus a, some jewelry. The second disclaimer is everything that you're gonna see today is for sale. So. If you see anything that we talk about today that you're interested in, you can send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Let us know what you're interested in. We will shoot you back a price, and you can buy from us that way. It's the best way to buy something. It's the best way to buy something, Laura says. All right, let's get into it. I don't know about this guy. <laughs> in the pictures, he looked kind of cute, and then when we got him home, his face is like kind of bisque. Like the rest of him shiny, but his hands... And his face are not. Yeah, I can think of another disclaimer. The other disclaimer is that we did not go to any auction preview. We went strictly off of pictures. Exactly. So, you know, it's like a roll of the dice. It's fun. I like it, personally. Because, you know, you take the good with the bad. <laughs> Some things look bigger than they are. Some things look smaller than they are. This little guy looked less weird than that. <laughs> Agree. But, I mean, he's still cute, like, at a distance, right? He's, right. he's still kind of cute. And... You know, maybe that's a face only a mother could love. So, it's all good. It's all good. We also have this really pretty glass turtle. You know, Danny, the niche lady, uh -huh. loves her turtles. So, I think she's kind of started a trend. I'm sure there's others of you guys out there now looking for turtles. And turtles to come in the future. We just got a really cool box full. Awesome. But... I love this one because it's crystal and it's heavy. It is heavy. Um, I don't know the age of it. It doesn't, I mean, it does, it's not, doesn't scream vintage to me, but um, it's really pretty. I like it a lot. Very cute. Then we have another turtle. This one looks like it might be a candle holder. Right? Right. Yeah, I like him. Same thing. Just a little crystal um, guy for your collection. He's Very cute though. Very sweet. Okay, then we have a little piece of milk glass. What do you think this is? Is it for sugar? It would have had a lid, though, if it was for sugar. Mm, sometimes there's an open sugar. Is that true? Yeah, sometimes. We have a creamer over there, right there, but it doesn't exactly match. It's not the same pattern. Right. So, but we do have this little handled little bowl, which is cute. We have a couple of these Avon uh, perfume decanters. Yeah, Mary Beth was hoping those would glow. Well, I should have known, and I did know in hindsight, you know, I, I think that I should have known that these were Avon. I just, I don't know. I just had a feeling that maybe those were slag glass and they and they would have glowed. But alas, they are Avon. <laughs> They're cute, though. They're and, cute. And oh. they have the little under bowls with them as well. Yes. Okay, we have here, we did end up with some Lucite candlesticks. This one, unfortunately, is just a single. We don't have its partner, but very pretty. This one's long. This one's like, what, a foot long? I feel like Harry Potter or <laughs> Voldemort. Very cute in your springtime displays. Um, next year, you can put it in your St. Patrick's Day display. 
Really cute. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, obviously Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. I will say that all of these Lucite candles have had their wicks um, snipped. Why do you think somebody did that? Well, I mean, I can, I can kind of understand that because they're not meant to be lit. So maybe they just didn't want them there in the first place. Maybe. But all the Lucite candles that we're going to show you, they do have their wicks snipped, just so you know. Say that three times fast. <laughs> this, I think, is really pretty. So this is kind of like, we should like try to drink wine out of this at flip on flipping and sipping. Awesome. That would really be a and challenge. Game of Thrones. That would be a real challenge with the, <laughs> with oh, those I little. I spill that all over myself. Folded over edges like those, <laughs> but just, I, I guess this is milk glass, right? Yes. I don't. I, I, I really like that. I it's... don't know the pattern, but it's very pretty. Very cool. Okay. Here we have a little purple ashtray. Don't quote me on this, but I think it's Hazel Atlas. Not 100% sure. That's one of those items we thought might be bigger. Right. In the we... pictures, they look bigger than they are. I mean, I love it. It's, it's cute no matter what. Oh, I think it's darling. I love that piece. Very pretty. How about the owl? Oh, the owl. I love him. I realize he's not vintage, but we got enough owl collectors that any owl that's cute like that would probably sell. Yeah, he's very Isn't cute, pretty? very small. Like Laura said, not vintage, but look at that face. Very so sweet. So one of my favorite things that we came home with was this awesome MCM popcorn bowl. If you watched us make uh, the caramel corn <laughs> with the puff corn, we used this big bowl at the end to show off our, our puff corn I think creations. We, I think we also used the small ones for our um, ingredients. Oh, yeah, maybe we did. <laughs> so you do have the big popcorn bowl plus the four small bowls. Super cute. Very nice. I'm going to go back here to these really awesome root beer colored five finger swung vases. These are beautiful. Look how cute and squatty they are. Cute and squatty. Well, there's just something um, attractive about that. Yeah, I'm a big fan of these. I really like the color. You don't see this color very often. They would be lost in your particular collection. Yeah. But for someone with a smaller sized collection, you just really have to have one of these. They're a little short for me. Uh, this one has its fingers more up here toward the top. This one has a larger opening. Um, if I've, I've got the tape measure somewhere, Laura. I thought I handed that to you. You did, but I set it down so I wouldn't fidget with it. Okay, well, we're going to get the tape measure and let you know how tall everything is. All right, Laura, what do we have? <laughs> they are right at like 10 inches tall. Right at 10. Yes. The one on the left is just a smidge taller. Yes. Okay, awesome. While you've got that measuring tape out, I'm going to let you measure this awesome guy as well. Oh, I really love this one. So, little footed swung vase. It's standing at right at 14 inches. We Please. did have another one of these that was really squatty. It, it only stood about this high. So cute. And we did sell that one already. Yeah, you just couldn't help yourself. You had to show that as a sneak preview of what we got. And of course, someone wanted it. So of course, the cadmium glow is there on the feet and on the mouth of this swung vase. Love it. It's one of my favorite things we got. Okay, Laura, so now that we're over here, let's just talk about some of these little pieces of milk glass and get those out of the way because some of them are damaged. So this one has a big chunk out of the toe of the foot, and this one has been broken as well. Yeah, it was a big lot of milk glass, and so that's just one of the hazards. Right. So here was the creamer that I was talking about earlier. I love that. I think it's just very simple. Very pretty. Laura, what are these called? Well, you put like what? Like potpourri in there and then they I smell think. good? I think they're a sachet. A sachet. A lot of times sachets are fabric, you know. But I feel like that's kind of a little 
Someone can correct me in the comments, though. Maybe maybe it's called something different. We like when people correct us. <laughs> it's our favorite. Here's another uh, Avon perfume decanter. If you're into if you're into any of this Avon stuff or milk glass, uh, do let us know because we'll probably give it to you for a pretty good price. Otherwise, it might be going into our yard sale pile. Here's another piece of like white glass. And here is a vase. I like that one a lot. Yeah, I do too. I like that pattern. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Okay. Then we have this cute little watering can with an owl on it. For our owl fans out there. No mark. No, it just came with the other little owls, but it's super cute. I like it. Mm-hmm. And then one more owl for everybody. Is this little cute art glass paperweight? <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> he loves you. He wants to come home with you. Okay, then let's get into these mugs, Laura, and this really cute mug stand. I really feel like my aunt had those mugs. Maybe she did. In her kitchen. So these mugs are marked Japan. They do have some crazing, but oh my gosh, how retro. Absolutely. And I just love that it comes with a little matching stand. Me too. Then we have this beautiful bottle and stopper. It almost is kind of an aqua color. No mark. Beautiful pattern on the stopper. I love that. That's one of my favorite things we picked as well. Yeah, it looks quilted. <laughs> it does. It really does. Okay, let's let's have you pick up those candlesticks, the candlestick holders. Aren't yeah. those pretty? Aren't they pretty? And I think these are perfect for these. Yes. So Although we have, we'll, we'll sell them separate, but I we think will. they're just perfect for that. So we have a set of these uh, little flecked gold looks like candles. Again, the wicks are not there. If you do like these together... You have to put a little putty or a little tape or something to make them stand up good in there. Yeah. But they do fit. See, they go down in there. Mm -hmm. I love those candlestick holders. Those are just beautiful. Too. I really enjoy this as well. Now, I'm not an ashtray expert, but I do have quite a bit of Viking glass knowledge. And that is totally that blue neak Viking color. I'm telling you, it, it is so close to that Viking blue neat color, but I don't necessarily think that that's Viking ashtray. I've tried to find it, can't find it, but anyway. You know what I think is cool about this, this ashtray? Mm -hmm. Normally, they symmetrically put the little divots for the cigarettes, mm -hmm. but there's just two. Oh. There's not any on this side. Cute. I like it. I, I'm a sucker for an ashtray. All right, let's go to your little um, recipe box. Maybe you box. were a smoker in another life. Maybe. Let's go to your recipe box. Okay. I haven't I haven't cleaned it up Ooh, yet. Ooh, it's, it's really nice on the inside. Yeah, I feel like it'll clean up. I think there's little tape marks or whatever right here, but I think that'll, that'll clean right up. Okay. But it's metal. It's tin. But look how it's just groovy. Oh, Laura, <laughs> it's so groovy. It is. I like it. Okay, why don't you uh, see about those silver flecked candles as well? You those, think they're longer? Yeah, those are longer. I'm going to say those are 10 inches. Yeah. Oh, I'm so good at it. <laughs> so those are silver flecked. Again, no wicks, guys. And then let's see that bowl underneath. I still don't know why they did that. Well... I don't know. Maybe because they didn't want to accidentally try to light them or something. How pretty. This is like a deep purple. It almost looks like Murano glass, but I don't think it is. Little footed bowl. It might be. It could be. But anyway, I love it. And why don't you grab Santa there? We didn't even take the stickers off yet. Well, they're not prices. They're just yeah. numbers. So he's nothing special. Not vintage. What does that even say? Vita bath. 
What does that even mean? <laughs> I think so. I feel like there was like shampoo and soap in him or something. Awesome. <laughs> He's cute though. Yeah. You could put like a little tree or something back there. I like it. Okay, so then we have one more ashtray. Look at that. Y'all, I've also tried to look this up. It is beautiful. It's really thick, really chunky. This cadmium, y'all, glows like nobody's business. I'm going to turn the lights off here in just a second and show you that glow. But it's super thick. Seems like it could be Blanco, but I've not been able to locate this one either. If you know anything about ashtrays, let us know in the comments because this is one of my favorite things. Again, I think I've said that about everything, though. <laughs> you really liked a lot of these things. Yeah. I love that ashtray, though. I know. It's really cute. You could use that for, like, your paintbrushes. You could mix watercolor or something in there. Yeah. It's heavy. It could be a weapon. Oh, a weapon. <laughs> and then, I think I've saved the best for last. I've got this gorgeous Empoli Genie Bottle. Well, it said my jewelry. Oh, oh, yeah. We've got jewelry to go. Sorry, Laura. <laughs> you always forget about the jewelry. Yeah, you guys can tell that Laura is the jewelry person. But I love that genie bottle. Do you want to tell us how tall that is? Yeah, let's see. Oh, I don't even have it. Yeah, I do have it that far enough. Just shy of 19 inches. Like, just barely. It's right at 19 inches. I haven't seen any chips or cracks on that piece. Love it. All right, Laura, what do we have here? Well, I just think these are some really pretty uh, pieces, mostly brooches. Uh -huh. um, I, I'm not a jewelry expert. Oh. I just really love it. Okay. <laughs> so I like to buy the little baggies full of jewelry and just sell it piece by piece, but I don't always know anything about it unless it's marked. These, we can put on the screen later if I get them down and find markings, but I don't remember seeing much markings on any of these. Okay. This one, I feel like is super interesting. Look at that. Awesome. Might even be that pink. It's, it's lightweight. It might even be kind of a Bakelite kind of material. See the back? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. It's very plasticky. Okay. So uh, that's what makes me think it's the Bakelite. Love it. This one's gorgeous. Look at those big, pretty blue stones. Nice. It looks All like a the stones are there. Oh, it does. That's pretty. I know. Isn't that pretty? And then, of course, uh, this one's really nice, too. They're all pretty. Very cool. That marbling or like kind of like tiger striping. Mm -hmm. None of these appear to be real stones. Oh, look at him. Look at the Buddha in there. Oh, I didn't even realize that's what that was. <laughs> and then look how pretty it is. This is like a short necklace and it has these pretty little stations here. Interesting. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, very cool. And there's a butterfly. He's nice. And this one sparkles like nobody's business. And you, you're going to like this one because it's that pretty blue that you love. Oh, but see, yeah. See, can you... You can see that in the oh, camera, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Very lovely. Earrings. Mm-hmm. That purple one's pretty, too. I know. They're all pretty. Good job, Laura. I think those are nice. Okay, guys. So, that's going to do it for this week's video. Don't forget, if you saw something that you're interested in, make sure you send us an email. Fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Let us know what piece you're interested in. We'll write back with a price and we can sell to you that way. It's the best way to buy something. It's the best way to buy something. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you leave us a like. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what your favorite item was. And as always, make sure you stay tuned to see what Fatbird finds next. See you next time. Bye, everybody.